How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review on the channel. Today we review, well for short, UCL Live J Lings. Oh for long, UEFA Champions League road to the final Jesse Lingard, which is far too long for a title. So it's the UCL Jesse Lingard we're going to review today. So lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring the hype to the review and smash the hell out of that thumbs up button on this video. Let's aim for 1,000 likes for J Lings and lads, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what you doing because like I said these are dynamic items once they upgrade I will be reviewing them again so if Jesse Lingard and Manchester United go beyond the group stage he gets an upgrade if they drop in the Europa League and they progress through the stages of the Europa League he gets upgrades so you can see how this card will get better and better and lads we're gonna review the day in a 4-2-3-1 and see the white players Perisic who I will review still and again who I will review probably tomorrow and if there's anyone else that you do want to see reviewed on this channel simply let me know in the comment section below. And lads, let's get into the J Lings review or Jesse Lingard review, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, lads. So here we go. Now, as you can see, since I bought the card, he has dramatically dropped in price. So in terms of getting a card that is on the cheap, J Lingard, J Lingard, Jesus Christ, mixing his name up, uh, Jesse Lingard, in terms of buying the card, could be one of the cards that you look to get. He's 80 to 100k on the, both the Xbox and the PlayStation as of right now. He scored a lot of goals, he played a lot of games, and he got a few assists, he got three assists in total. He did a great job for me at Cam in a 4 2 3 1, and it was a narrow 4 2 3 1. He did a great, great job. Four star skills, fantastic! Freestyle Week but hinders the card in a number of different ways. It is it's crazy what a Freestyle Week foot does in this game. He's got a bright foot primarily, so he's left foot, the weak foot. Do not use that whatsoever. High to high work rates, and he is 5 9, I do believe. And in terms of stats that he's got, man. He looks good. He really, really does. The dribbling category yeah, looks as stacked as like an Eden Hazard or someone. And uh, yeah, the physicality of the card, he's got 58 strength. I can't believe he's only got 58 strength, but you've seen the guy. He looks quite strong. But um, yeah, 58 strength is not the best in the world. And in game, he is actually quite weak on the game. He's got 90 stamina, however, 76 aggression. And in terms of the rest of his stats, it looks phenomenal. The volume is only 72. Uh, crossing 76. His passing is not that great at uh, 68 long pass. But the rest, sends 86 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 89 attack and position, and 81 finish, and 82 shot power, 83 long shots. And the dribbling category, I know you're watching the gameplay right now as Lingard finesses it past the keeper in the 49th minute, well, the 50th minute now. Um, I'll tell you his dribbling stats. It was 86 in total, 88 agility. That is nuts to this card. He's very kind of agile and slalom through a lot of challenges on this game. Very, very good with the 88 balance to boots, 84 reactions, 84 ball control, 84 dribbling, and 86 Composure. This card is a very, very good dribbler on this game. I see Raheem still and burst down the right hand side of the page. We're freed up at this stage. He's going to cut it back. The keeper's on his way out. And that's a precise finish, you know. Normally they go straight for the centre back. That's on the line. But that's a great finish from Jesse Lingard. So he is capable of scoring a lot of goals on this game. His shooting is fantastic, man. 82 shot power, 83 long shots, 81 finish in the composure of 86. This guy will score goals. And as you see on the screen, he scored nine in total for me, but he scored a lot of goals in a important matches from good positions man time finesse from outside the area there to make it 5-4 in that game I think I lost like 7-6 or 7-5 as he goes in the Millie Rock but in terms of the pros of this card dribbling well actually celebrations he's got the jail Lings one as you run to the camera you in order to do that one you've got to go to the camera Jesse Lingard and he will do that he's got two of his own celebration the Pied Piper and the Millie Rock I think it's the Millie Rock anyways but um yeah celebrations fantastic with the card as he goes back into the dance He's got great stamina, he's got great balance. The worst stats of the card are strength and the long passing, which is only 68. And being a cam and all that, you need to spread it to the wings every now and then, so it isn't that great with the card. In terms of the pros, though, you got the dribbling, outstanding agility, balance, fantastic, and the dribbling stat itself is 84. He can go past a lot of players on this game, especially with the acceleration that he's got as well. Is uh, It's 86 plus 10 with a hunter chem style, which I did have on him. He was very quick at getting around players on this game. Dribbling, sensational. Agility balance a uh, couple of them together you've got a very evasive player on this game and he is very evasive as you volley saw him there as uh, so I was getting slapped in that game I was 5-1 down at the moment I did score but um yeah the move
movement of the card. He's got high to high work rates. He's um, hardly ever marked because he's got high to high work rates. There's a lot of CDM sit back on this game. Either, uh, if you're facing a 4 2 one 2 or a 4 2 3 one they've got two CDMs or one CDM, and they're always tracking your cams. But with Jesse Lingard having high to high work rates, he's up and down like a yo yo. He's very hard to track for anyone on this game. And um, yeah, he, he utilizes that very, very well and gets into attacking positions very, very easily and free. Of course, he's marked. Well, he's not marked, he's completely free. And he does get the goals. The rest of his pros, we do have the shooting of the guard. Sensational. He will score goal after goal after goal. Nine in total for me. And he's great at calm and the pace of the car. He is actually quite nippy with um, 86 acceleration and 80 sprint speed. Again, I had a hunter chem style on him and he did seem very fast in game. So Jesse Lingard is a good card. However, he does have his cons, the strength, which is shockingly bad. It's only 58. He's very weak in game. Like I said, he is very evasive. He's got 80 agility and 88 balance and the great dribble and the great ball control. So he can go in and out of challenges. But if he does get caught, guys, you know the saying, he's going down like a sack of shite every single time. And in terms of the free start week, but that's shite as well. I mean, you get a chance on that left foot, don't do it, man. Don't do it to yourself. Just uh, hit it with his right. Go for the time finesses. Go for the low driven shots. Go for the shots in general with his right foot and you will score goals. However, on the left foot, it reduces that um, probability of you scoring by, by a percentage and uh, you probably will miss the targets more often than not. So let's get into the overall rating for Jesse Lingard and uh, let's give him a rating. So in terms of the overall rating for Lingard, he's going to get a rating of an 8.6. He's a great cam on this game and uh, as a Premier League English cam, he's very very good. In terms of Vive Coins getting 9.2, I love these items, man. It's not player-based performances, which can, um, it can happen every now and then. You see that with the ones to watch this, but team performances, they should do well in competitions that they're in, and they're, they're in a good place, Manchester United. They beat Juventus 2-1 in the last game. They're in a very good position to kind of qualify for the next round, and uh, Lingard, you'll get an upgrade. So in terms of the Vive Coins 9.2, in my opinion, 100k for this card isn't too shabby. In terms of uh, enjoyment, Enjoyment rating. He's getting an 8.8 .8 in that category. He's a good player, but the freestyle weak foot and strength do let him down massively. And you do notice that freestyle weak foot in game a lot of the times. Foot champ strengthiness, yes. He's getting an 8 out of 10 stars in that category because I reckon he could utilize this card in foot champions and he'd do a good job. The similar place today we have Marco Royce, Mario Goethe, uh, because they're quite similar with the finesses. And Deli Ali is probably the most similar to this card. But um, I'd rate this card better than Deli Ali on this game. The key pro would be the dribbling, the key con will be the freestyle weak foots, and the best. Cam style for me, anyways, was Hunter on the card. In terms of the top 10 central midfielders, Lingard does make his way into that. At number 9, we've got Eusebio, Pogba, De Bruyne, Socrates, mainly used all them at Cam. Same goes with Messi and Royce. Lewis Savage, central midfielder, the Europa League live card. 8.9 I gave him yesterday. Coming in at 8 is Mario Gerson's flashback card. I hope we get another flashback soon. I love those cards. And Jesse Lingard comes in at number 9 with his 8.6 ahead of Sanchez who comes in at an 8.5. And lads, that's where we're going to end today's review. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, once again, bring the bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed or bloody ready. And as always, I will catch you all next time.